Hi guys, my name is Dolly Young and this is a run through of the features on the Chrome extension for circlecount.com. So this is a great extension if you want to check out your own statistics. If you're a member of circlecount.com, you'll already have statistics on there for you to have a look at. If you want to quickly check on someone else's statistics, for example, if I go to Moritz's profile, one of my friends, and then click on the circle count icon, and look, I get some information straight on the screen about my friend Moritz and his follower history and average details on his comments, reshares and plus ones per posting. If you haven't used circlecount.com, what they do is they allow you to have statistics on your Google Plus profile. So if you click on login when you go to their web page and then go to allow access, give it a minute to get all the data and then you can check on your profile and what it does is it shows you the details about you and some of the information that it collects from the data that you're sharing and how many followers you are displaying on your site. Also underneath it shows like average numbers and just some of your posts. So let's go and have a look at the extension running. Up in the top right hand side of your browser, if you click on the icon for circlecount.com, if you have a Google Plus page open already in your browser, it will come up automatically with the data that it already stores on circlecount.com for that particular person. At the moment, I already have Dolly Young open in the background. Now, you do have a number of features down the right hand side. So if we click first on cream of the crop, it brings up the circle count page of who is cream of the crop that day. These are people that have under 10,000 people following them currently that they want to promote. Going back up to the extension, you'll see if you click on your dashboard, it will open up a new window of your dashboard. On your dashboard, you get the basic information about you, you know, your location, your occupation, your circle rank, which is how they rank you in their own statistics on the people who have registered on circle count. There's also the circle rank for your particular country, how many followers are following you currently, how many people you're following. If you've been cream of the crop, you'll be displayed here and then what date you were added onto circlecount.com. Also, it will show you your profile picture, as well as your LinkedIn information if you've got it listed on your Google Plus profile, your Twitter account, and your Google Plus. On the far right hand side, you'll also have a map if you are displaying your location publicly. Scroll down and you'll see the activity, so it tells you that they've analysed 412 public posts of mine and that these posts are from a particular period. They're explaining this because it is how they've built their statistics to give you a better idea of how they've come across all this information. If you scroll further down, you'll see a list of your posts. Now, these are the most up-to-date posts for me. It gives me the first bit of text, then the date, how many comments had been added onto that post, how many plus ones reshares, and then plus ones plus reshares. If you scroll further down, you'll see there's average response per post, and it's dependent on the weekday of the post. You have average response per post, depending on the hour of the post. And further down, you have a follow count in a graphical format. Also on the far right hand side, you also got a list of how many people have added you per day. Further down, it shows you your post with most comments, post with most reshares and post with most plus ones. So back up to the top and I'm going to go back into the circle count icon. And we'll pop into the your map section. Now what the map is, is it shows you a heat map 
and also a toggle marker map of the people that are following you. Now, if you have thousands and thousands of followers, it will take a percentage of how many followers you are actually currently following. If it's your first time going into this, then you will want to click on the update your followers link. This will make sure that the data is most up to date as possible and give you the best possible chance of having the most accurate information. So scroll down to the map and you'll see that there's two options up the top and you can toggle on and off the heat map and also the markers. Now it works off the back of the Google Maps so if I put the markers on you can see that I can then zoom in and also use Street View if I wanted and zoom out and also these I scroll up again these controls up top allow me to go north, south, east and west and let's come out a little bit and then if I go over to the toggle heat map option and let's take off the markers to let you see now you'll see that the more dense populations that are following me are in red it's also quite interesting that if you've got over so many followers it will take a percentage of how many people are following you and it gives you how they've made this map up at the bottom of the map. It shows me that 4891 of my followers are actually shown on this map and this is a percentage of how many followers are currently following me. Also it tells me how many people haven't set their locations and it also shows you how many people couldn't be cached probably because of either privacy settings or that there are limitations on the, the API. What the API is, is the software that allows the websites that aren't Google Plus to connect to the databases of Google Plus and get information from them. The API controls that and sometimes there are limitations to stop abuse of the system. So further down in the page, we have a gender distribution. It's in a nice wee pie chart. And further down, we've got a bar graph of what countries are following me. So let's go back up to the circle count extension. So at the top 100 profiles, this opens up a circle count page showing you the top profiles of most followed, most following. And also you can define whether you want it to be female or male or which country you want it in by these options up the top left hand side. Back into circle count and you can also do the same for the top 100 pages. Straight in there, most followed, most following and also the definitions as well up top if you want to define it. And up to circle count again and we have popular pages. If you click on this it will show you the current most popular persons on Google+. Plus. What it does is it calculates from the last 10 posts of everyone taken into account and posts the most comments, the most plus ones and the most shares of all the people that are included on circle count. And you can also define whether you want this to be in a particular country or whether you want it to be female, male or both. So back up to the circlecount.com extension and if we click on the circlecount.com link at the bottom you'll get the main front page of circlecount.com and you'll see that you can click on the Google Plus icon to get onto their Google Plus page or click on the text. On the Circle Count Google Plus page you can get the most up-to-date information on circlecount.com and the new features that they release and also new information on their extension. Remember to pop on and add them to your following list so that you can get the most up-to-date information straight to your stream. Pop on to the Google Chrome store to download it and there'll be a link in the description. What's great about this extension is that it's really easy to use 
Once you have signed up for Circle Count, you get really great statistics. If you keep it up to date, it will also give you really quite accurate statistics. And also you can find some really interesting people on there as well. So check it out for yourself and happy Google Plusing.